Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. A window manager can enhance the overall experience of using multiple active windows on a system. It goes beyond the basic ability to resize and reposition windows and offers advanced features to help optimize the use of screen space. By using keyboard shortcuts, mouse, and even automation, you can quickly and efficiently organize your windows for maximum productivity. In addition to improving productivity, a window manager can also improve the aesthetics of your desktop. With customization options and the ability to personalize the look and feel of your workspace, you can create a unique and visually appealing environment that enhances your workflow. Using a window manager can take some effort and technical know-how, but once set up, it can greatly enhance your workflow and make multitasking more efficient. Overall, a window manager is a valuable tool for anyone looking to take their multitasking potential to the next level and improve the overall appearance of their desktop. BSPWM is a lightweight tiling window manager. It has a relatively steep learning curve compared to other window managers and requires a basic understanding of tiling window management concepts. However, once you've learned the basics and configured BSPWM to your liking, you'll find it to be a fast and efficient window manager that allows you to easily manage multiple windows and improve your workflow. Additionally, BSPWM is highly customizable and supports multiple monitors, so you can set up your workspace in a way that works best for you. There are also many tutorials and community resources available online to help you learn how to use BSPWM effectively. IceWM is one of the oldest tiling window managers out there. You can find it as the default window manager with some distributions like Antix, one of the best lightweight Linux distributions. You may not get an extensive list of functionalities with IceWM, but it has a simple approach that lets you easily use it. By default, it features an app launcher and a taskbar to keep things familiar and accessible. Head to its official website for documentation and get started. Herbstleft WM is a manual tiling window manager. Not as popular as other options, but a promising option for Linux users. It allows you to define your own tags, which can contain multiple windows, and easily switch between them. The window manager also provides a rich set of key bindings for controlling window behavior and tiling. Overall, Herbstleft WM is a good option for experienced Linux users who want a customizable tiling window manager that is lightweight and efficient. However, if you are new to tiling window managers or prefer a more intuitive user experience, you may want to consider other options. Osamoom is a highly configurable and customizable window manager that offers a lot of features and functionalities to its users. It is written in Lua and has a fast and efficient codebase. While it may require a few dependencies during the installation process, it is not difficult to install and get started with. If you are new to window managers, Awesome WM is a great option to start with as it requires minimal configuration out of the box. However, to get the best experience and make the most out of its features, it is advisable to spend some time reading the documentation and customizing it to your needs. The documentation for Awesome Window Manager is valuable enough to make the most out of it. i3 is the most popular option if you are in for an insane amount of customization. Yes, it is aimed at advanced users and developers, but with its well-documented instructions, anyone can try to use it. i3 is highly customizable and supports many features such as multi-monitor setups, easy navigation, and multiple workspaces. Its documentation is well-written and beginner-friendly, so anyone can learn how to use it, even with little to no experience with window managers. However, it is important to note that i3 is aimed at advanced users and developers, and its full potential can only be unlocked with proper configuration. Sway is designed for valent sessions while offering compatibility with i3. In other words, the same commands are supported with Sway. If you are using i3 and want to move to Sway on a valent desktop, the transition should be easy by copying the configuration to the correct file. You should have the essential features here to organize app windows and make efficient use of desktop space. In conclusion, there are several tiling window managers to choose from for Linux users. Each has its own set of features and configurations, so choose the one that best fits your needs and preferences. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, there is a tiling window manager out there for you, from the simple and beginner-friendly IceWM to the highly customizable i3. 
With the right documentation and community support, you will be able to make the most out of these tools to optimize your desktop experience. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel. Feel free to use the comment box to suggest us more topics to work on. See you next time.